last few seasons in Oklahoma, we've seen an increase in populations of a particular pest of our state tree, redbud, the redbud leaf folder. Uh, this is a caterpillar pest that likes to uh, web together the leaf margins and sometimes entire leaves or several leaves together of redbud leaves. And that caterpillar is living on the inside um, of that leaf fold, again webbing it together and feeding on that upper leaf surface. You can see the signs that are left behind from where the caterpillar was feeding, um, particularly the, the damage that's caused, but also uh, the frass deposits or the fecal pellets that are left behind uh, from those caterpillars. Now, redbud leaf folder is not to be uh, anything to be con uh, too seriously concerned about in terms of damage to the tree, long-term um, um, ill effects to the tree. Uh, the tree will, will compensate and recover from this um, uh, form of defoliation that's caused by redbud leaf folder. Where people get a little bit up in arms about redbud leaf folder and the damage that they cause is just a reduction in the aesthetic value um, of the tree. Uh, but if you're not too concerned with that reduction in the aesthetic value of the looks of the tree, uh, it can be tolerated. Um, so we usually don't recommend insecticide treatments for red bud leaf folder management. Um, but if you do want to use um, some products, I recommend using um, any products that contain uh, Bacillus thuringiensis, um, subspecies Kerstaki. In short, it's called BT. Um, those products can be found in um, a variety of different trade names over the counter. Um, this is a, essentially a stomach poison. It works only on caterpillar pests. You don't need to worry about uh, disrupting any of the benef uh, beneficial insects that are out there, pollinators, that sort of thing. Um, so again, it's only working on caterpillar pests. The key to using a product like BT uh, is to make sure you're targeting the very small larvae. They, those products tend to be uh, most effective against the young, small larvae. Another product you can look for is anything containing um, the, product, uh, the, acti the active ingredient spinosad. Um, and spinosad is another one that has, um, um, basically it reduces non-target impacts on beneficial organisms and should only target the, uh, the red bud leaf folder. Non-chemical methods of control um, would include sanitation. So we want to make sure that um, at the end of the growing season when the leaves are falling from the tree, um, that we clean those leaves up and properly dispose of them, destroying them, burning them, what have you. Uh, because that's going to reduce the uh, number of overwintering pupae that are still in those leaf folds um, that are coming out the next season. So we can, get, we can see a reduction um, in pest pressure on that tree the following year. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.